Hey everybody, Omega oh Golden Plays Civilization VI Gathering Storm begins anew with a special challenge. This is the um, Science Eureka Challenge. One of you um, posted about in the comment section in the previous game, and I've been excited to try it out ever since. Uh, the goal of this is, uh, or the the requirements for this challenge, are to complete every Eureka in the science tree, and research every science uh, before winning the game. Which means, you know, a decent amount of, amount of planning and whatever has to go in. Um, less than I originally thought, but still, you know, a decent amount. Uh, that You know, there's some, there's some trickier ones along the way that require you to get a little bit of a setup ahead of time, so... Um, yeah, I mean, a bit of luck, a bit of uh, planning... It's a different way of playing the game. Probably we'll win uh, a science victory at the end since we already claimed all the sciences in the process. I would imagine that um, as far as military goes, we'll probably... I mean, though, there's definitely going to be some because you have to kill some units with... Uh, you have to kill things with certain units to get some of the Eurekas along the way. You know, some of that can be obviously achieved just straight up with barbarians, but... Um, we might have to go after somebody for, like, a source of, uh, iron or a source of, hopefully not iron. That one, that one's a little rough to try to, <laughs> to try to wrangle from somebody if you don't have any yourself. Um, but, you know, things like that might push us into aggression against uh, an AI, but otherwise I think, you know, we're going to be trying to set ourselves up. Uh, to succeed and, and get all our Eurekas. I chose uh, China in particular um, because a few synergies exist here, I think. Um, one of them, the, the main one here is Dynastic Cycle. Eurekas and Inspirations provide 50% of civics and technologies instead of 40%, since we are hitting every Eureka along the way, hopefully, assuming we do this correctly. Um, then we're going to be getting the full benefit uh, at least from the Eureka side of that ability. Inspirations and whatnot, we're not going out of our way to get. Obviously, they're they're always nice, but we, we're not... There's no requirement in this to to hit everything there. The other thing is, you know, just getting an extra builder charge from the First Emperor will help us out. And then the, the Great Wall itself, you know, that can add gold and, and culture, so... I just think it's a you know it's a decent person to use. The other the other person I was thinking of was uh, Catherine of France, mainly because she has the extra spy slot. Which uh, to get the late game Eurekas, you need either great scientists or stealing from other civs. So having an extra spy uh, could come in handy. I just thought overall China's a better package for you know, getting to the end game. And, you know, because of the fact that we have to try to hit every Eureka, we're not going to be able to try to power through the science tree or anything like that. We have to, we have to ha take a measured approach, you know. We got, we got a Goldilocks, this thing. You can't go too low. I mean, that'll help you accomplish it because you'll get destroyed by the AI. Uh, you can't go too high or you won't have enough time to, to meet the requirements of the Eurekas. So you got to, you got to find that Goldilocks threshold right in the middle. That's where you want to live your life. Uh, so yeah, we're playing on Deity Difficulty, Standard Game Speed, 7Cs map type. I like this map type a lot. Uh, map size standard, Disaster Intensity turned up to 4. We have the First Emperor. When building Ancient or Classical Wonders, you may uh, spend Builder Charges to complete 15% of the original Wonder Cost. Builders may unlock an additional charge. Canals are unlocked with the Masonry Tech. So the additional Builder Charge is always useful. Um, being able to build the Wonders can be useful, but we're there's probably only a couple that we might go out of our way to try to get, and one of them would be if we have a, a good Petra situation. Uh, we would definitely go out of our way to try to accomplish that one. Um, canals, uh, probably not going to be too useful. It could get, you know, it is error score potentially if we need it. So being able to get that early is still useful. China has dynastic cycle. This is the Eureka and inspiration thing we went over. 
50% instead of 40%. They have the Crouching Tiger, which is a medieval area unit, ranged unit with a range of 1 and a high combat strength. This is at the same uh, tech as Crossbowmen. So you can get Crouching Tigers and Crossbowmen. I don't think it replaces the Crossbowmen. I think you can get both still. Yeah, because it would say it replaces Crossbowmen. Um, but yeah, it's it's... You know, relatively early text, so the error score can be acquired pretty pretty early uh, to try to get into a golden age or whatever. And then we have the Great Wall, which is another thing that can be done pretty early for error score. This is a unique improvement for China. Plus two gold provides an increase to defense, provides uh, or a bonus to gold if adjacent to other segments. Additional culture and tourism as you advance through the tech tree for adjacent segments. Must be built in a line along the border of your empire. Can only be pillaged by natural disasters. So, this thing is pretty sweet. Uh, at maximum, the adjacency bonus gives the tile a plus six gold, I think. Which is, you know, it's decently strong for... that. That's basically, you know, three connecting great walls next to each other. The one in the middle is plus six. The ones on the outside are plus four. Um, so... If you're going to place them down, you always want to place probably um, two of them. And you got to plan accordingly because right here it says, you know, has to be built along the borders of your empire. If you can if you can toss this thing, like weave it through your cities a little bit, um, I think that's probably best to where you can get like a few tiles per city. Or if we get lucky and we can get a Petra City, it'd be nice to just surround Petra City with the Great Wall since they'll have a lot of opportunity. You know, it just raises a lot of gold and eventually culture. So, not a bad one. Not bad at all. Alright, we're about ready to check out what our our map looks like. The seed is down here at the bottom. Uh, what are we looking for from this? Uh, I mean, having an, a natural wonder nearby would be nice, and then having a desert would be nice as well for, like, Petra. And, I don't know, just... just I need the resources nearby. If if I can have some some iron and niter nearby, that would be lovely. We'll see what uh, what happens and and how we have to react. But we have to ask Sid for the blessing first. Sid, please give us uh, the chance to succeed in this uh, in this challenge we're undertaking today. We really need. You to be kind to us with uh, with resource placement and wonders, and just terrain in general, um, because the, you know there's a lot of things we have to accomplish here, and uh, and we'd like to succeed in your name, and then uh, and then escape the planet on a, on a rocket. Thank you, Sid. All right, well that's uh, that's our request for a blessing. Let's uh, let's go ahead and see what we see. All right, here's our starting location. It's got a few things that are going to be nice for um, early Eurekas, but the the one thing of immediate note is that we are not next to a coast that we know of, and you need the coast for sailing. Uh, so sailing is completely blocked off right now by the fact that we don't know where water is. We do have cattle, and we have uh, stone and mercury. I think this gives us... So this this gives us the masonry bonus, um, horseback riding, and then the wheel, I think. So, you know, we've got some stuff to start with, which is nice. Let's go ahead and grab mining first. Why is this not working? Do I have a phantom window in front of my game. Hold on. Oh, I'm a fool. I have to place my city first. <laughs> oh, so silly. Alright. I was jumping ahead. And obviously that's not the way things work. So let's go ahead and, and move just one tile over. Dude, now, now the game will let you select mining. You impatient man. I don't... I think I've probably done that on, uh... 
a recording in the past, but I... I don't know. I don't see where I would have, probably, because, like, normally I'm kind of a step... You know, I just go with the flow. I don't normally think about looking at the tech tree immediately to, to claim what I need to claim. But what do we need? We need to find a natural wonder. We need to find a coast. We need to farm a resource. There's a, there's all sorts of things. Uh, we do have irrigation available to us at the beginning, so that's that is good. But uh, sailing is is a concern right now. There is always the possibility that you get uh, something from like a goody hut that helps you out. Like that was population. Population is always great, but they you know they'll they'll give you eurekas. So I'm gonna come over here and fight this barbarian. All right, we have coast up north, but it's not, I mean, it's not terrible other than being in tundra. There's definitely worse tundra locations that you could have, but uh, it's not ideal for what we want to do. So let's go ahead and get a builder, I think, first. We also need to get a slinger pretty quickly to try to kill a barbarian. But there's a... Uh, there's plenty of time for that. We do have some desert down here. Hopefully, it is a sizable desert. We got the boost for sailing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. That helps out tremendously. Although, we do have a, a nicer coast over here. So, you know, maybe we would have been fine. Either way, we do have to settle uh, next to the coast to get the, the sea resources at some point. This barbarian thing has got me wanting to get my slinger right now to try to help. So I'm going to prioritize that. I'd like to snag this, but let's see. We have to deal with these these warriors. When you find yourself in There's the camp. All right, getting the slinger I think is definitely the right play here. Let me just toy with these guys and see what they do. So we can still just go grab animal husbandry, which will let us, you know, work the cattle at some point. This is, uh, this is quite a mess over here. Alright, let's, let's put you on fortify, let them hit, hit you. Fortify. You should be fine i think i might want to have you back up though just uh to put them at a, a river disadvantage along with you know attacking hopefully a fortified boy so i feel like this is a safer position for me to heal at than the other one and he's doing all right he is getting beat up a little bit but right now we're holding him off long enough to get our slinger over there his best. Beautiful. And we get our discipline now. Let's go God King to start with and, and get some faith generation. You, sir, did not achieve a level up, so we need you to back up. You did get your level up, so let's get Battle Cry. That'll give you a little healing, give you the advantage over here. We got that plus five combat strength as well to help you out. We're going craftsmanship first. We will definitely be able to work a lot of these tiles. Which is good news for us. Okay, this is an easy kill for the archery bonus. Yeah. And bronze working. So he's going to heal. Our slinger's going to get hit, but it's not too bad. He's already done a little bit of what he needed to do. Slinger has to be assaulted directly, unfortunately. All right, let's get you back. It's dangerous out here. These barbarians are menacing. No! If there are no dogs in heaven, <laughs> then when I die... This, the flood destroyed my warrior. Ugh. Okay, let's go this way. I feel like... 
if we attack with the scout and the slinger next turn against him, he won't be able to counterattack and kill us, probably. Let me get bronze working immediately because I want to know where iron is. Knowing where iron is is going to be very pivotal, potentially, unless, unless it just happens to, you know, be in a very useful spot for us, like right next to us immediately. Then we don't need to worry about it too much. All right. If he tries to go in, he's probably going to get himself killed. Let's start this thing off. Get you the wheel bonus. So that is the nice thing about our little starting area here. We have an irrigation bonus, the wheel. We've got masonry. We've got horseback riding all right around us. Let me get more slingers. I do need to get another warrior, but I, I want th uh, three archers as time goes on. For one of the bonuses. Uh, let's take... Let's take Alpine. I don't see a ton of woods is basically the reasoning on that one. So far, so good. I got him. I just wanted to make sure it was clear for my, my boy to wander out to the stone. It is the age of stone. Hit us up with a quarry. You will die soon, my friend. Next turn, you're going to die. Alright, let's get you healed up. So he has two more, since we have the, the nice uh, ability. Two more charges on our builder friend. So let's see. I'm going to take you this way. We're going to head towards this camp. I want to use your two charges on irrigation and on the horseback riding bonus, so... There also happens to be just straight up horses up here, so maybe instead of uh, instead of hitting the cattle, we get these horses and we start populating some strategic resources. Let's do that. So irrigation and craftsmanship. Not bad. And then we will go get the the horse. Excuse me, sir. You would dare walk next to my slinger? He got a... I guess we can move him here. And he'll be able to go to that town next turn. Safely. Skill without and improve it. I don't want to change away from discipline right now. We, we definitely are happy with that. I don't want to change away from God King either because we're trying to hit the, the Pantheon. Got him. Okay. We have the opportunity over here. I, I should chase down this, this scout as well. And then begin exploring because we still need to find a natural wonder. For the, um, astrology bonus. We gotta do a lot of exploration. Maybe not, it might be, that maybe there's like something right in the desert down here. Maybe it doesn't require like any exploration really. That's a possibility, that'd be nice. It'd be especially nice if we had a, yeah, some sort of wonder right in there. To build our Petra right next to. To really just live it up. Live the dream. Let me get a... Let me get a, another settler here. Or our first settler. I'm also interested. Our first additional settler. That That's more correct right there. Yes! <laughs> we have iron. Within range of our capital. Oh. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, that, that helps us out tremendously. We, uh, 
we're good to go as far as that's concerned. Let me go ahead and get archery now, now that we have three slingers. Um, that's gonna... Oh, he's trapped now. We're gonna be able to get him. Three slingers is what you need for... Or three archers is what you need for one of the... Eureka's along the way. Oh, beautiful! 20 faith is gonna get us... Uh, our Pantheon next turn. We've got yet another Barbarian camp now activated. Or, I assume that's another one because there was a warrior up there. And this guy, you know, he's still causing problems for us. We still have to make sure this one is dealt with appropriately. But we got, we have our boys on top of it. Our Slinger sons are ready. And able. And willing to accomplish the task. Oh, thank you for for doing it like that instead of, like, I don't know, any other way you could have handled that. I really thought you were going to move the Spearman out of the way and then, and then have the Warrior come through instead. But let's see. We should be able to kill you. Or maybe not. This is... Let me do it this way. I want to keep you safe, so... I'm going to have you skip your turn this this time. And we're definitely looking to get another settler if we can. Religious Settlements is available. Uh, that's going to slow down our settler, but that's okay. You know, a, a settler immediately is worth two in the bush. So let's go for that. It's really a, not even a contest of, of which is better for us. We're definitely wanting a settler in this instance. So where do we want to send this guy? I honestly, I'd like to see what this desert is like, but we, we have time for that. Um, we don't need to make that our first settlement, you know. We definitely need to get somebody to the coast. So I'm interested in maybe settling up here, uh, where where we have two coastal resources available to us, two sea resources as they like to be referred to as. Oh, he's, yes, he survived. Got him. Okay, now you need to just uh, hold your horses over here, heal up. This man is going to. Park himself down somewhere in this area. Let's actually, let's get you to, you can't look up there this time. I want to see what the that coast above him is, is looking like. So let's, let's head you over here, my friend. More iron, man. This is a, another potential spot over here with a couple iron. Lots of hills for mineage. May the forces of evil be... Not a bad look. Alright, let's take a look up here. So this would be a, a, a nice spot for a campus. We've got a reef and then two mountains. So I, I do think maybe placing either the city here or the city here. We have better harbor potential if we were to uh, to place it over here, but... I think we're going to drop it here, knowing that the fish, we might have to chop it out eventually to put down a harbor. Well, I mean, I guess we could always still drop the harbor there. It'd probably be about the same. Let's go ahead and grab masonry in case, um, in case getting four era score matters to us for this one. I don't think it will, but there's a possibility, you know. Be nice to meet a neighbor as well, because we don't have the... We have to meet another civilization for our writing bonus. We don't have that available to us yet. Alright, you guys just heal here. I'm going to have you come over here and level up. Or not level up, but... Uh, tech up to the archer. 
Since you're the furthest down there, we'll have you explore that desert region. The other guys can continue to heal up. Mexico City's right here, and somebody has met them, so... Kind of surprising we didn't meet Mexico City, incidentally. But that's okay. Alright, let's go ahead and drop it here. <clears throat> so this one will secure, you know, the two C resources we need, at least. And then... I don't know. That's at least... That's at least something. Something we had to plan for, so... I'm not... I'm not mad. Let's go ahead and get a builder. I do need to get monuments... Alright, where do we want you to go? I like the idea of claiming all this iron. But we do need to we need to protect you, so let's send our, our scout with you. And then one thing we need is a spearman. Uh there's a I since I almost never get a spearman, you have, I have to think about this one. But military tactics. Um kill a unit with a spearman. Yet another Eureka we're gonna have to get along the way, so we might as well... Uh, the er I feel like the earlier you do it, the better. Because you don't... You want it... You want, Basically, you want it to happen with uh, a Barbarian. And you don't want your, to have to deal with teched-up Barbarians trying to kill something with a Spearman. That's just a recipe for disaster. This is a recipe for Petra down here. Unfortunately, hold on. Like, Mexico City is going to be infringing on these tiles, so I think we're seeing the extent of where we can place our city. So, yeah, we'll probably just maybe park it on the stone. We'll have to see. We only have enough money next turn to upgrade one of these boys, so I'll, I'll send the other downwards. So I think I'm going to park him on the coast over here. In between the two sources of iron. And luckily the barbarian couldn't decipher my plans. And he stayed on that side of the, the river. So we definitely want to drop a city down here. And claim up as much of this desert as we can. It's going to be a decent Petra. It's not the best Petra you've ever seen, but it's respectable. And because we're China, we should be able to lock that thing down. But uh, let's let's look at our path to get to Petra, right? So Petra is from mathematics. So if we take a step back from mathematics, you're looking at currency, you're looking at writing, and you're looking at pottery. That means we got to meet somebody because we haven't done that. We have to make a trade route, that'll be easy enough, and then we have to get three different specialty districts. That's all in a day's work to get to... Uh, to get Petra. It's worth prioritizing it. I think, because, uh, yeah, I mean, this is just gonna be a nice city with Petra. And I'd like to... At least, I'd like to at least hit these tiles with um, a great wall. You gotta plan accordingly, because it has to be on the edge of your territory. But that doesn't seem like it'd be too hard. Alright. Let's go here. We've got iron available to us, which is nice. Let me go ahead and just start working on a builder. We should be able to deal with the uh, the warrior between our available troops. Okay, so we've got Mexico City on the side, so we, we shouldn't have anybody encroaching over here, probably. Let's bring our spearmen around this away. And then I'm just going to let him start attacking into my scout. <coughs> Man, we still need a, a natural wonder. 
We will get an iron mine over here, or or down here even. Let's uh, let's pick up the wheel, because being able to build a water mill is another one that's going to get us some points eventually. I need monuments. I need walls as well. I need everything right now. I guess needs a strong word, but I didn't look at what those wonders were that people had accomplished, achieved. Constructed. I assume it's the Great Bath and like that's the positive I don't know. aspect. The Great Bath plus maybe somebody's already built uh, Machu Picchu because they love that one. We don't need God King anymore. Let's go ahead and give ourselves bonus for builders. We will keep discipline. So you continue to heal, my dude. We will have our spearmen come cause some, some trouble over here, get up to some shenanigans. And just explore our territory. I'm, I'm really surprised we haven't ran into another sieve. But we haven't gone too far, I guess, is uh, the thing. Mexico City definitely knows about somebody else, but... We do not. Being in a dark age right now, by the way, is fine. I don't want to burn through Aeroscore generators at the moment. I'd rather just wait and see if we can get a heroic age next time. So I'm fine with our 7 Aeroscore. I think that's acceptable. Uh-oh. We got an archer up here. I could really use our archer to assist with the uh, the other barbarians. What? Ooh, a tribal village. Okay, so if we do this, hopefully he can survive, but he's at least got the kill for military tactics and that's the important bit one turn for air score i'm actually i'm gonna save this goodie hut uh for next turn because it's right now it'd just be a waste i don't know what time tribal village stops giving air score but i think it's still in the classical era if not then it didn't matter one way or the other He's in some trouble. We can head this way, but... The archer can still pick him off from here. Let's see if the archer will go after my, my scout. So free inquiry is the, the thing that makes the most sense for us. Gain one error score every time you get a Eureka. Plus one for every building that gives you science as a base yield. Uh, the fact that we're trying to hit every Eureka... I would call that a synergy. Alright, so let's look. We have seven error score. It didn't give us any error score. I guess it only gives it during the the first age then. I thought it I thought it worked longer than that. I suppose we've just proven that it doesn't. Okay, so somebody should probably get an encampment. But we should probably... Here, let's get a trader, and then we'll probably get a, s a settler. I think that's what we'll do. What do you want to do, my friend? Let's see. This is probably going to be our campus location, so what I'm wondering about is uh, maybe just chopping it for a faster monument. I know we can't get a campus uh, immediately, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be a campus spot for us. It's probably going to be the first campus we make, is my guess.
Hooray! All right. Well, that worked out. He shot the, the scout instead of going in for the kill. Which, uh, pleases me. Okay, then. It boosted the monument a little. Not incredibly so. But, since we know we want that spot in the future, I think it made sense. Sometimes the wheel to... Alright, we picked up the wheel. We still can get pottery for free. You know, we've learned horseback riding. Going for horseback riding to be able to get a horse early on, since we have plenty of horses, I think that, that's a respectable maneuver. I'm going to leave you chilling in here, because right now you're, you're kind of too weak to accomplish anything, I think, unfortunately for you. I could always drop a mine down here instead of, uh, so I can chop this and put a mine in. I think that's fine. Let's do that. All right, we need you to come help us with this barbarian camp down. Down yonder. In the unseen territories. So... We can't even build a granary yet because I haven't I haven't done pottery. Let me go ahead and get my monument. Anything to try to help us uh, help us develop ourselves. I think it's going to be worthwhile. You know what? Let's go for another settler. You gotta heal, my dude. It's dangerous out there. You're walking around with like 15 health, man. Look back over the past. I know you'd much prefer to be healthy, so I'm not really blaming that on you. But I am calling attention to it. All right, let's get a settler boost since we're building some settlers. And since we're building settlers, let's try to go for, you know, Magnus. We should be able to get the other one in five turns. That's not bad. We, we don't know where this camp is. Where is this barbarian menace that's been harassing us all this time? I'm going to put a mine down. Oh, there's a player. Thank, thank goodness. I was like, it'd be really nice to, to run into another player soon. And thankfully, we will run into another player very, very shortly. All right, let's go work this tile. Oh, Mexico City wants to... Wants us to trade with them. That's fair. There it is. We found it. Alright, let's get our scout up here to draw some attention away. So you're not very useful right now until we get sailing. I'm going to leave you with the charge. Gilgamesh shot. And Gilgamesh is our neighbor, which is good because he's an easy ally. That means we can just go ahead and declare friendship. Let's send him a delegation. And uh, we can keep things on the up and up real easily with him. Which is good news. He levied something from Geneva. Get you healing again, my friend. I am a good friend and ally. You're a hundred percent correct. And thank you for existing so that I can get the writing bonus, which I've so desperately needed up to this point. Also, my friend, would you like some mercury? 
perhaps you can have children play with it because it looks cool there's probably better uses than that but there's no telling as far as the uh, overall balance of science and culture goes we are not at great levels here but that's understandable uh, being as we've just been focused on a little bit of expansion and hitting I mean we can't get we couldn't get writing until now just because of the challenge so the fact that we're at 6.5 is is fine and makes sense I think he's at 40 though but that's Gilgamesh man he he does what he does he drops those ziggurats down like it's nothing he 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 litters the land with his ziggurats and then I feel like he often fails to do anything of import because of that, but I don't know. I, I'm hoping for better things for you, Gilgamesh. We're getting 7.1 culture per turn. He's at 25.6. Score-wise, we're down at 59. Somebody is at 236. Gilgamesh is in second at 149, but he's nearly, you know, he's like 87 points behind first place. So that, that first place person's got a, a decent sized lead right now. I wonder who they are. Wonder what they've been up to. Somebody has two people have religions. But uh yeah. So far so good on the challenge. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um gonna do everything in my power to to hundred percent this Eureka beast. But that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, join me next time as we continue our adventure. Like the video if you're enjoying it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see mo uh, more. And I I'll catch you guys next time. Later.